Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Right now we are on the CodePen website. So this is the online code editor where you can write the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code and you can preview that code on the same web page. Let me show you if we write here. So you can see the preview of this code here. If we write the CSS code here, now you can see this text in the red color. And here we can write the JavaScript code also. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create your own code editor like this, where you can write the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code and preview the web page side by side. So keep watching this video till the end. Here I have one folder and in this one, I have one HTML file, one CSS file. Let me open these files with my code editor, which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file. Here I have added the basic HTML structure. Here we have the title and link tag to connect the CSS file. In this CSS file, we have added the margin padding, font family and box sizing. In this HTML file, we will add one div with the class name container. And let's copy this class name and come to the CSS file. First, we will add some CSS for the body. And here we will add the background. Let's add one color code and we will add the color. Next, we will add the CSS for the container. Here we are adding width, height and padding. Now let me come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this dark color on the complete web page. Now let's come back and in this HTML file, Within this container, we will create two columns. In the left column, we will add the input box where you can write the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. And in the right column, we will display the output. So let's create two columns here. So we will add one div with the class name left and duplicate it and change the class name right for the right column. After that, in the left column, we will add the label and uh, here we will add HTML and after this label there will be one input box. So here we will add text area and let's add one ID HTML code like this. So this is the label and this is the input box. Now let's duplicate it. And here we will add CSS and this one JavaScript. Let's update the ID also CSS code and JS code. After that, come to the website and refresh this website. Now you can see this text and input box. Let me close this browser and I will open it with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server. So it will refresh the website automatically. So you can see the same page again. Now we have to add the CSS, so just come back and for this container we will add display flex. So we will get two columns left and right. Now we will add the CSS for both columns, so write the class name left comma right. We are adding flex basis and padding. Flex basis is 50% so it will use 50% space of the web page. Now we will add the CSS for this text area. So let's copy this one, write it here. In this text area, we have added the width and height and changed the background color and color for the text. And then we have added some padding to add some space inside the text area and border and outline is zero and we have increased the font size after that let's come back and you can see this is the html input box this is css input box and this is the javascript input box let me write something here so you can see we can write in these input fields now we will add one output box in the right column so let's come back and in this div with the class name right let's add a space and here we will add iframe and with this iframe let's add one id 
So the ID is output. Next we have to add the CSS for this iframe. So let's copy this one and paste it here in this CSS file. So for this iframe we will add width and height then background it is white and border outline 0. After that you can see this white box in the right side where we will display the output. Now we will add the icon here with this HTML, CSS and JavaScript text. To add the icon we will add the font awesome. So come to the website fontawesome.com. Here you have to create free account then click on kits. Then click here and you will get one line of a script. Just copy this one and add it in your HTML file. So I will add it here just above this closing head tag. After adding this, let's come back to the same website and click on icons. And here you can search for the icon that you want to use on your website. So let me search HTML. Let's click on the first one and click here to copy this one line of code. Copy and paste it here in this HTML file where you want to display this icon. So I will paste it here. Now we will add the another icon. Let's come back and here we will search CSS. So we have added different icon in each level for the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now let me add one label in this right column also. Here we will add label and in this one we will add another icon. So let's come to the website and here we will search for play. Paste it here and we will add the text also. It is output. After that come back to the website. You can see this icon with the text HTML, CSS, JavaScript and here we have the play icon and text output. Now we will add the CSS for these icons and text. So let's come back and here we have the label, just copy this one and come to the CSS file. In this label we have the icon with the i tag, so here we will add the margin from the right side and margin from the left side. Again write this label and here we will add the CSS for this one. So we have added display, align items, background and height. This display flex align item center will align the text and icon horizontally and we have changed the background as black. So let's come back and you can see this black background for this label text. So it looks good. Now we have created all the layouts here. Next we have to add the JavaScript so that we will add any text in this input box that will be displayed on our output. So let's come back, come to the HTML file. In each of these text area, we will add on key up equal to run. Let's add it in the second one and third one. Now we have to define this run function. So above this closing body tag, we will add a script. And in this one, let's add function run. Now whenever we will type anything in these input field, this will execute this run function. Now in this run function, let me add some variables. So let's add let HTML code equal to document dot get element by id and write this id here now duplicate this line here we will add css code js code and output and update these id also here we have the css code paste it here then js code paste it here and write this id output now we will type anything in these input field 
that should display in the output so we have to get the value from here so in this first one let's add dot value and we will add the same thing in this css code and js code so this will store the value written inside the text area now we have to display this value in the output for that here we will add output dot this iframe will create another html file on this page and that will have their own html tag body tag so to access that body tag here we will add output dot content document dot body dot inner html so we will go to output then content document then it will access the body and in this body we can write anything using the inner html so here we will display the text written in the html code like this after adding this let's come back to the website and if i start typing here you can see it is displaying in the output we are writing h1 hello h1 like this let's copy this here we will add h2 you can see another text here let's add button you can see this button here now this html is working fine next we have to apply the css also right now if i write h1 and color red you can see this css is not working so to make it work let's come back and here we will add this css code also in this line we will add plus css css code so after adding this let me come back to the website the same thing is displaying here like a text but it should apply to the html element like a css code for that here we have to include this one inside the style tag so here we will add so we have added like this html code plus style then css code plus style close after that let's come back to the website and if i write this text here then write h1 you can see this css is working you can see this text in red color let's add margin also 200 pixel so it is here let me increase the font size so it is working next we have to add the code so if we will write javascript that will be applied to this web page for that let's come back and here in this next line we will add output dot content window dot eval so it will evaluate this js code it will evaluate this js code in this output content window so the output is iframe where we are displaying the web page so after adding this now again come back to the website and let me write some html css and javascript here and we will show you how it works so here we have created one button added some css and we have the background red here we have added one function to change the button background color to black and when we will click on this button it will execute this function that will change the background color so after adding this let me click on this button you can see the background becomes black it means this javascript is also working fine so this is how you can create your own code editor where you can write the html css and javascript code and preview the output side by side i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video